Hello everyone. This is Joni from Designs by Joni L. And uh, I'm just coming back today to uh, try to do some decoupage for you and um, see if I can get this container covered. I started to uh, cover it the other day, but the napkins that I had were so sheer, they were thin, that uh, I didn't couldn't get it to work for me. So uh, I said, okay, I'll just put it down and I'll try it later. So I'm going to try it again today and see what I can get it to do and get it, see if I can get it to work out for me. I hope I can. And um, uh, I hope that I can get it all fixed up nice and pretty like I did my other decoupage. I really like the decoupage. Um, I think it makes things just truly beautiful and um, it's very easily done if you can get those napkins to um, do what you want them to do <laughs> but sometimes I think they have a mind of their own and they do what they want to not what you want them to do so I'm gonna see what I can get this one to do today Hopefully I can get it to thinking like I'm thinking. And if it does, it may be in trouble. <laughs> I'm not thinking very much these days because this has been a week and a half for me. It's a week that I would sure hate to um, have to go through again. Um, tomorrow is uh, my granddaughter's birthday. So... Um, my daughter and I went and uh, sent her a gift. We mailed it by U.S. Mail Service and uh, Priority Mail. And she looked for it the first day and it didn't come. She looked for it the second day and it didn't come. And today um, it didn't come. So we were running around seeing, tracking it trying to find out where it was we found out that someone had changed it and sent it to Orlando Florida now I will never know why it was sent to Orlando Florida but that is where it is supposed to be as of right now and her birthday is tomorrow and she was looking for a package from Mama and Aunt Tani and uh, it looks like she won't get it. Um, but she will. She's coming over to spend the night, the weekend with me Friday. So she will get her reward then. She didn't get it this week, but she'll get it. Good Lord's will this weekend. And um, the. Um, U.S. Mail Department can take a flying leap as far as I'm concerned because I will not be mailing anything by them again. And um, I also found out, I thought that if you had it insured that you got your money back if it didn't get um, delivered. No, that isn't the way it works. They say if they deliver it anywhere, it was delivered. So, you don't get your money back. That's what I have been told. So, the money that was spent to ensure that I would have insurance on it, looks like it was spent in vain. And I'm sure that the uh, U.S. Post Office needs that money. But I just don't think they should get it the way they're doing. So, I won't be shipping with them anymore. So, I'm very, very upset over that. And then my daughter was helping her husband the other night and he was trying to find a, um, a line that went to his, it was not a line, it's a wire that runs to his back uh, tailgate or lights. It's not really a tailgate. It's a 
hatchback or whatever you call those things. And he had my daughter under it there shining a flashlight, flashlight for him. And when he gets through, he shuts the door. Not the door, the latch. He pulls the thing down, in other words. And it is on top of her head. And when I found that out, needless to say, I didn't like it very well. Someone standing beside you one minute, holding a flashlight for you. The next minute, you pull the tailgate down on their head. And she had an awful straight place on her head, ever was. And if it had come down the front of her face, it would have torn her face completely up. So she went to the doctor. I finally got her talked into going today. Because she's an RN, she doesn't want to go. And um, finally talked her into it. She went and she found out, thank the good Lord, that she did not have a concussion. And that um, it seemed to be going okay as of now, but there could be issues later on, maybe. And um, that is not what a person wants to hear. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things go along with her. And um, in the meantime, I am very, very upset because anyone that could pull a tailgate down on your head, just it, it's mind-boggling to me. It's totally mind-boggling. So that has been just two of my days in my week. I hope that your guys' days have been better because I sure wouldn't have to want to go through mine again because um, it's not much fun. Well, it looks like this has gone on pretty good, unless I brag <laughs> tear it up, <laughs> which I may just as well do. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Got to get some more Mod, Mod, Mod Podge right in here to seal this down. And hopefully that will go down pretty good. I have to uh, give credit for this um, um, wrap to a lady. I don't know her name. Um, I know she has a beautiful waterfall in her backyard, I believe. It's either in her backyard or it's where she does her filming. I don't know which it is. And uh, she was doing this. And I thought, oh, well then I'll just try that because um, that might help me to keep from punching so many holes in my containers when they're upright. And so far, this one has worked pretty good. So um, I'm hoping that it will turn out okay. Now I've got to take this off and try to take this off without it tearing the other stuff up. And maybe I can get rid of some of this stuff. And um, see what I've done here. This is much better than it was when I tried it the other day because I made a complete mess out of it. I just turned the uh, camera off because I knew that I sure would not be showing that. So this one looks like it might look pretty good. My son told us that my granddaughter was sitting on the steps waiting for her package to arrive all expectant and everything, just waiting and waiting for her package. And someone had forwarded on to Tampa, and that's what we cannot understand, who forwarded 
where did it go that it was forwarded? It had the correct address and everything like that that you needed. So why in the world would it be forwarded? And that's the $64 question. But my son is after it. And when he goes after something, he usually delivers for him. He doesn't seem to have a lot of problems getting things done that he wants done. And he was after that this evening because he knew his little girl was looking for her birthday present from her mama and from her Aunt Tani. So um, I figure that he will be investigating. I know he's already investigating into it, but I just can't understand who in the world would forward a package to Daytona. Not Daytona, but Tampa. Beyond me. I think they should take better care of what they're doing. I may have to let this dry before I um, try to take this off. I might cut some of it off to uh, see how I do. with it. Maybe I can get rid of most of it, but then she says that you should take a um, nail file and file it off with even with the top of the um, container. So uh, I may have to do that. And I'm supposed to put um, another coat of the decoupage on now over top of this, but um, I thought I'm almost afraid to get close to it. <laughs> it was so bad the other day. And I would hate to see it do that again. I might give it just a little bit of a try. And if it starts moving, then I'll just let it dry. Because I don't want to have to try to do this over. One that I did for my daughter turned out beautifully. I didn't have any problems at all with it. But it was the uh, glass container that gave me all the problems. Now, I've done this on glass before, so I really don't know why I'm having trouble this time. I really think that this napkin in particular, this one, is exceptionally thin because uh, it was three ply and uh, when I started trying to take this one uh, the last one apart it was glued so heavily that um, it did not want to uh, let go and it had um, just little bitty uh, places in it where it had ripped when I was trying just to get it loose from the uh, ply that was the second ply. So that may be one of my problems because the one that I put on her wall hanging was um, not quite that uh, thin. This seems to be doing pretty well like this right now. I'm still not bragging about it though because as soon as I brag on it, it will probably start messing up. So, <laughs> I don't want it to mess up. Hope it turns out nice and pretty. And I'm supposed to only go one way on this, but. I think those napkins just really are so daggone thin. I'm sure you love my vocabulary. That's what I use to express myself with. Daggone and words like that. I make up my own vocabulary, I think.
little piece. All in all, this is pretty, it's doing pretty well. I'm pleased with it so far. It's not quite totally wrinkle free, but what can I say? I haven't done this for about 25 years, so I'm not going to put myself down too much for it. If I had been doing it every day, well, then I could say, what is the matter? But I haven't. So, pretty pleased with it. And I can always take it off if it, I don't like it. That's the one thing I like about something like this that you're doing for yourself. If you're not pleased with it, get rid of it. I'm glad that you all have liked the um, wedding things that I put up. And um, Sophie's headpiece uh, that she wore at the wedding. And... Um, the um, other flowers that I made, the centerpieces and everything, you seem to have received it quite well. So I'm thankful for that. I'm glad you liked the work that I did. And um, share it with your friends and tell them that I'm just a very hard worker <laughs> who is just working her fingers to the bone trying to get subscribers <laughs> and uh, that they should help me and subscribe to my channel that I am just working my fingers totally to the bone <laughs> I'm telling you if I couldn't laugh I would cry so what is it I always said I well I don't want to cry so I'll laugh My sister-in-law told me one time, she said, Joan, I don't know how you keep from crying. I said, well, you either have to cry or laugh, so I choose to laugh. So that's my idea of how I handle problems and situations. Because you're not going to change it either way you go. So, okay, there is one. I'll let you see it. One coat. <laughs> If I can get my arm to go right, uh, of the um, decoupage, and um, it looks pretty good to me. Um, it does have, like I said, a few wrinkles, but um, nothing that um, I think might come out when it, after, when when it's drying. And then, in other words, I can't even talk tonight. So. Um, I'm going to let it dry for probably about an hour, and then I'll give it another coat, and um, I'll uh, come back and uh, let you see how it has turned out after I get through um, with my other coating and everything on it. I may uh, show the coating, show myself putting the coat on. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I'll talk with you later. Bye bye.